Get out of my damn way. All right, guys, good old boy 32 here. Check it out. We are sitting out here at one of my absolute favorite places. This is the Mifflin County Sportsman's Association in Lewistown, Pennsylvania. I just want to say thanks to those guys because I'm going to tell you something. Without y'all, I wouldn't be able to do what I am doing here. I just ran into a bunch of really cool guys from uh, Fredericksburg, Virginia, C-130 pot, Marine Corps, and a Navy fella. And uh, another guy that's just really picky. <laughs> well, anyway, a bunch of really nice folks. All right, what are we doing out here? Uh, besides wearing this really cool shirt from Johnny B, uh, shellnotcomply.com. Check it out. All right. Uh, yeah, we're looking at this guy right here. This is the CMMG Resolute. And uh, I tell you what, you've heard the old saying, there are other rifles, but this rifle is mine. And I don't know that I'm going to be able to give this one back. There are only five of these in the country. <laughs> and there's a reason for that. Now, I'm not going to necessarily do a review on the Resolute itself. There's a lot of reviews out there. I mean, we've got a 16 inch match grade barrel, beautiful muzzle brake, uh, Geisley SSA trigger two stage. We've got the rip stock, which by the way, I absolutely love this thing. It's got the adjustable set screws in here. So you can set it to however far you want. Mag pull grip, uh, just a very nicely done rifle. It's got this really cool uh, charging handle ambidextrous on both sides of that. Uh, M lock hand guard, pick rails all the way across the top, as you can see here. Now, what is the deal? Oh, yeah, ambidextrous uh, safety selector switch. What is the deal with this thing? What sets it apart? They do make the Resolute. This is the uh, 300 model, I believe, and they make it in 45. They got it 300 blackout, uh, 458, so calm. They've got it in uh, 556, of course. And, uh, I think a couple other ones that I'm missing. Just recently, I looked at the website briefly before we came out here. Uh, this one just happens to be in olive drab. Uh, topped off with a uh, fantastic scope from the guys over there at Primary Arms, thanks, Dimitri, and uh, an American Defense scope mount. But again, you probably want to know what's different about this thing. And then I'm guessing you're sick and tired of me talking about it because you want to see, based on the title of the video. Yeah, it's chambered in the new Hornady 6mm arc. 108 grain is what we're going to be shooting today, the ELD match. Uh, these things are pretty cool. I went ahead and I've chronoed this guy. And I've actually gone and zeroed it. I just didn't want to waste your time. And we've got a nice little breeze and I have target set out with cameras to 600 yards. Now, based on the ballistics and the ballistic coefficient of this guy, uh, 271 in the G2. She's good out to basically a thousand yards, what we have here, at 11 mils. Yeah, so you got a 16 inch barrel with a 2606 muzzle velocity, and she's good out to a thousand yards. And we're going to talk about the, the why would somebody want to uh, have a six millimeter arc as opposed to a six five Grendel. Now you guys have seen me at the same range shoot the six five Grendel, hitting bowling pins at seven hundred yards. Uh, you know what? There is a reason. Uh, muzzle velocity. I think out of a sixteen or an eighteen inch barrel, the six five Grendel, I was getting like twenty three hundred feet per second, give or take some change. This guy, twenty six oh six. Uh, basically the same ballistics, terminal ballistics is a 308 out the distance. I'm sorry for the wind noise. I've lost my little uh, air thing that goes on my thing. So what we're going to do, uh, I'm going to put together a little slideshow at the end so you guys can see a bunch of pictures of this thing and showing it in detail. Let's let that wind die down. We probably have a little tailwind about uh, 1 o'clock from the rear, uh, probably about 12, 10 mile an hour. So anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to take it over here. I'm going to show you a uh, verification of zero. We're going to see how accurate this guy is. I'm getting uh, about one MOA out of it. And then we're going to take, of course, we're going to put on some steel targets, uh, 10 inch from 100 out to 600. Now the 600 yard target, I'm going to use the big old gong so we can all see it. Uh, but you know what? We're not done with this thing. We get a nice, calm, cool day. We're going to go ahead and take it out to 1,000. I uh, just want to see how it rolls. So anyway, with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and get out there and take a look at this thing. But I will tell you this. Uh, for the 20 rounds that I have put through this rifle, I'm very impressed with it. What's not to be impressed with? Uh, beautiful trigger. Very uh, aerodynamic. And what I call, when I say aerodynamic, I mean it's very sporty, but very aerodynamic. 
very smooth, ergonomic. And again, that rip stock is really, really cool. Eric, I'm probably gonna need one of these things. Anyway, let's get on over there and take a look at this thing, take it out the distance. The uh, six millimeter arc, is it worth it? We'll talk about the round when we get done, stand by. Okay, so I've just finished putting the uh, targets cameras out. Uh, we went ahead and set them all the way out to 700 yards. I just felt like that was a good number. Uh, I really feel like this thing should go a thousand yards without any problems. Based on the ballistic coefficients, uh, the ballistics table. Now, went ahead and downloaded this directly from Hornady's website as well as a good friend of mine named Dimitri checked it as well. And they were uh, right within a tenth of a mil all the way to the end. Uh, basically looking at uh, 10.9 at 1,000 yards, and that's only 387.8 inches of drop uh, at 1,000 yards. But we're going to take it out to 700. That's 148 inches, which equates to just a little tad over 12 feet. Uh, 5.9 mils. Very cool, very cool, very cool. We're going to go ahead and load up 10. Now I'm using a regular uh, PMAG right here. But this, I don't know if you can see it, but that's it. It looks like a skinny 6.5 Grendel. Uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and put our ears on. I'm gonna put my reading glasses on because I gotta be able to see. And like I said, we're gonna be reading directly from this guy right here. This is the Hornady stuff. Uh, we've got it zeroed in. Now on, as far as the scope's concerned, I wanted to take this thing out a little further than a two and a half by 10 uh, would allow me to do. Uh, I wanted to go a thousand yards with it and wanted to be accurate with it. So we've actually are running the, uh, the primary arms GLX with the uh, uh, mill dot reticle. Very cool. Let's go ahead and verify zero. I hope I did this right. <laughs> and I hope it performs. So far I've had zero malfunctions with this rifle. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna verify zero at 100. Pull that rip stop brace out. And those are one inch dots down there. And oh my God, my camera is barely, I am barely gonna squeeze by. Let's go ahead and adjust my parallax. Now I elected not to use the uh, tactic cam on this one because I wanted to concentrate on the reticle, the rifle and the round. Here we go, 100 yards. All right, so the Geisley SSAE, that's not an E. All right, 100 yard target right here. Okay, so then what we're gonna do is 200, we're gonna bring it up a 0.6 mils, 200 yard target. There are you at, there you are. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. 300 is a 1.4. There's two targets up there. All right, so what I'm gonna do is put it on safe. We're gonna load up a couple rounds because there's some extra targets that I wanna engage while we're doing this. I don't know where those gusts of wind came from. They weren't here a couple minutes ago. Let's fight through it, shall we? I don't have any wind holes and I think the wind's coming from the rear. So I think we're okay. But it is a pretty stiff breeze there. All right, so we're gonna go 400 yards. That is a 2.4. All right, here we go. There's two targets on that one. We'll engage both of them. A little high. There we go. <laughs> 3.4, we're gonna go to 500. All right, 500, we have two targets sitting there. Those are 10 inch. Let's try the bigger target. I'll let this wind die down. We're not set up to shoot the wind yet.
How about that? Oh, so much nicer. Alrighty, so we're gonna go 600, which is 4.6. Hurry so we don't have any wind. Now that's the big gong up there. I'm gonna hold center mast. Just my parallax a little bit. There we go. This glass in this scope is awesome. I'm gonna hold a little left. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna go 700. 700, we're at 5.9 mils. Guys, this is so easy, it's ridiculous. But I'm not, I don't have any wind reads. Well, there it is. Let's bring it down to 300, 1.4. Yeah, that's 20 rounds. Okay. Uh, what we got to do is we got to build up a little bit more copper in this barrel. That's uh, 40 rounds total uh, to really see uh, the accuracy come into play. As far as the round is concerned, we are seeing some incredible hits out there. Uh, the ejection pattern is laying it right there. This rifle is equipped with a 16-inch barrel with a rifle length gas system. I'm surprised it even runs. But we'll get it on back to the table. This is part one. I wanted to show you guys how it works. Uh, I want to go ahead and run some more up there and see how it's going. We just have a lot of gust wind going on, some stuff. It's hard to read. It's not a consistent blow. Uh, plus the change in elevation. It's windy up there, not windy down here, windy down here, not windy up there. But we're having a lot of fun. That's it, guys. This is the CMMG Resolute chambered in the six millimeter arc. This thing's bad to the bone. Let's do some more shooting with it, shall we? Here we go. All right, let's bring this thing back down to zero. There we go. Put my glasses on so I can see what the hell I'm doing. We'll start at one. Two point six. Two hundred yards. Three hundred. It's going to be one point four. All right. So we'll be putting more rounds down range in the near future. But I got you guys to see this thing. I'm getting twenty six oh six out of a sixteen inch barrel. The ballistic coefficient G1 is a 536. This thing is just back to the bone. All right, guys, that's it. The CMMG Resolute. This is their 300 series and uh, chambered in the six millimeter arc. I am not disappointed at all. Look at that bad boy. Man, is she pretty. And that is one bad mamma jamma of a round. I'll tell you this right now. Let's go to boy 32. Uh, we will do a tabletop review and I'll do something more specific to the ammo, but I wanted to do the demo right now to show you what this thing can do out to 700 yards. It's been a lot of fun. And always end up like this. Guys, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform, 24 seven for our freedom. Freedom's not free. I'll tell you what, let's do some more shooting. 5.9. We're going up. There it is. Bring it down to six point six. Oh man, my big gong target's down. All right, never mind. <laughs> Let's go 500, 3.4. There we go. 
400, 2.4. Ah, missed it. All right. Well, that's it. We're having fun. Y'all be good.